How do you do, Prime Minister? Lestrade. Mr. Holmes, despite the intelligence and the perspicacity far above the norm that all of England is bestowing you, I assure you that you are a thousand leagues from imagining to what point I am, let's say, annoyed. Inspector Lestrade here will only give one answer to all of my questions. Ask Sherlock Holmes. So, Mr. Holmes, where are we? A few days ago, July 14th to be exact, we received a letter from the ubiquitous Arsene Lupin. It is here for your perusal. Is this in earnest? The facts concur. We are in our third day, and he has honoured all of his engagements to date. Even in recent history, this type of preposterousness would have led to war, do you know? Well, Mr. Holmes, all of this is too grievous to be left in the hands of an unofficial detective, no matter what his talents are. From here on, you will be working with Inspector Lestrade. You will be under his authority, and he will report to my cabinet. I am going to call a council of war, and I want you to know that no matter who you are, all contact with the press is categorically forbidden and will be punished in exemplary fashion. Gentlemen, these damn French... I should send in the fleet. My dear Lestrade, time is pressing. I don't see anyone here about. Is the museum closed? No, but as there is work underway, and most of the galleries are closed, there isn't a crowd. That's fortunate. Lestrade, listen well. Clear the museum of all visitors and workmen, block the entrance, and post some men around the building. No one is allowed to enter the British Museum from this point on. As for us, Watson, let us assure ourselves that Lupin's next target is still within these walls. Wait. I have a map of the British Museum that the guard gave me. It could be of some use. Unfortunately, there is some juddering in this area. And there isn't anything that I can do about it. And I believe the Prime Minister at this moment in time is Robert Gascoigne Cecil, third Marquis of Salisbury. I know I completely mispronounced all that, but apparently he has quite a magnificent beard. Anyway, on with the game. And you have no idea what's going on? No, not in the slightest. But I do know that it's rather pleasant watching all these pretty young men in uniform. Our inspector, you are quite the joker. You are going to jail. And everybody... Oh, hello, gentlemen. What can we do for you? Good day. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. Are you the museum's curator? The guard. Could you show me the Rosetta Stone as quickly as possible, please? Of course. Follow me. You follow me with muffled steps in the hall, up the stairs, into my small room. That's where you get out your... Here, gentlemen, we have arrived. The Rosetta Stone. Did you know that it was taken from the French? Only too well. There stands the honour of England that we must be prepared to defend, Watson. Let's find Lestrade. We'll need his men to help search the museum. So, Lestrade, how are things coming along? We have finished, and if I know one thing, it's that Arsene Lupin is not hidden in this museum. We gave everything, even the smallest nook, the once-over, three times. The men have doubled the watch outside. This place is protected like a fortress. Excellent. Arsene Lupin isn't inside, and we have made sure that he can't enter. 
Remember, Lestrade, no one is to breach the walls of the museum. No one. Tell me, Holmes, two hours have passed and we still haven't eaten. Can we... Certainly, Watson. Find something to restore yourself. Nothing for me. Ask one of the men outside if there's anything left over from the mess, Watson. Come, Inspector. Let's go over the plan one more time. Good day, gentlemen. Inspector Lestrade pointed me your way to see if there was anything left to eat. I'm afraid not. There's a bread bag near the portal over there. There might be a bun or two. Over where exactly? Well, I know where it is, but he's not exactly very specific. After me, I'm quite impressed with this. Anyway, let's carry on. We have a game to complete. Ah, it looks like the police's bread bag. It's a rubbish bag, not a bread bag. Psst! Hey, Doctor! Psst! But, but what are you doing there? Word on the street is that something big is going down here. Is that true? Um, yes. Well, no. Regardless, you must leave. No chance. I want my scoop. You promised me, and the time has come to keep your word. What do you want? Sneak me in, and I'll take some pictures, on the sly, of course, and I'll have a screamer of a headline. Out of the question. If one of the constables sees you in the museum, you'll be taken as their quarry, and I'll pay the price for having let you in. Listen, Doctor, I've seen worse. Danger is part of my job. If I am caught, I won't mention your name. You owe me that much. The situation with the medal is almost sorted, and I'll be able to bring it to you tomorrow. You wouldn't rather have me turn up empty-handed and have to explain to the great detective how you've been sneaking around, would you? I'm not even sure if I can. The museum is guarded like a fortress. You'll manage, Doctor. The main thing is to find the key to open the confounded gate and get the guards out of the way for a few minutes. Good luck, Doctor. I'll be waiting. Oh, Watson. I kind of feel sorry for Watson, but... You should really just tell Piers to... Go away. Putting it politely. And confess to Sherlock, but... No. So, I believe... We can visit... Barn cow, I think is in here. There he is. Wow. I apologize for the jerkiness of this, but I can't really do too much about it. So, my friend, all seems well with you? Goodness, yes. No more visitors, no. At last, I can take care of the filing that has been piling up. Ah, all these treasures in the museum. A great responsibility to guarantee their security. Main entrance. As I said to your colleague, Inspector Lemon or Lister, I can't recall, there is the one that I gave him, and there is the curator's. Where is the museum curator? He is on holidays in Scotland for the duration of the renovations, and the strange lock on his strong box, the key is perfectly secure. Is one of the keys for the portal in the cure near the entrance? The architect is there at present. I must go now, until later perhaps. This is the door. No? S 
So, we have two arrows, one pointing clockwise and one pointing anti-clockwise, and a red 15. The museum director's reminder. Apparently, he suffers from memory loss. He even jots down some sort of hieroglyphs. OK, I'm going to need someone to help me out with this, because... Yes. Let's turn this around. I believe left click is clockwise and right click is anti clockwise. There we go. So, we have these small dials here. And we need to. I believe this is one, two, three, and four. We need to turn these dials clockwise, anti clockwise, clockwise, anti clockwise. Sorry, anti clockwise, clockwise anti-clockwise, clockwise. And the thing that's confusing me is that there is, a, is this 90 on the top of each of these, which implies, if we go around, that these large dashes, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105. And that means the smaller dashes would be increments of five, five, 10, 15, obviously. So according to this, we need to turn this to 75, which to me, logically, it should be here. 45 should be, if we're going, let me just double check. Yes, okay, blue is, is anti, is counterclockwise. So 75 would be 15, 30, 45, 60, 75 here. 45 clockwise, 15, 30, 45 here. 30 would be here. From zero, I mean. And 30 would be here. But no, this is not the case. What it actually is, is these small dashes are increments of 15. I'm not sure how we went to put that out, as the numbers go up to 120, which would imply turning, turning this all the way around would be 120. This is what's confusing me. But the actual correct answer would be turn this counterclockwise by... Here. This one is here. This one here. And this one. Now, if someone can actually put some logic into this, I would be very grateful, as my logic apparently is bullshit. What are you doing there? Um, ah, I was checking to see if the strong box was locked. More likely you were checking to see if it was damaged, weren't you? Well, I didn't touch it. Calm down, young man. What has happened? You seem to be out of sorts. You wouldn't understand. All this pressure, it's too much. We're three weeks behind schedule, and they are constantly threatening to fire me if any of my workmen cause even the slightest damage to any of the works preserved here. And you come in and send my team home and place police officers all over? If they knock over a statue or break a vase, I'll end up carrying the can for the lot. Now, that's not true. The police are professionals. They will stay clear of the fragile objects, and the statues here are so heavy, there's no chance they will fall. You are deceiving yourself. Look at the two lions at the entrance. The base of one of the two is crumbling so much that it will turn into dust at the slightest noise. And there are plenty like that here. In any case, young man, you must stop tormenting yourself. No one will wrongly accuse you. Now I must get the police away from the entrance to sneak the journalist in. Wars. I don't, don't feel so bad at mispronouncing the uh, Prime Minister's name earlier. Before we go and destroy some valuable property. Let's go and give this key to Pierre's. 
find a way to get rid of the police, Doctor. Watson, you do know that this is a very bad idea. No interest whatsoever. Oh. I may have been a little bit premature. This limestone pedestal is crippled by the humidity. A small knock by a blunt instrument and it will topple like a castle of cards. pains me to hurt this work of art, but I have no other choice. Only an event of this magnitude can create a diversion. It wasn't me! Good God, what has happened? It wasn't me! I just arrived. The base must have caved in under the weight of the statue. It wasn't me. The statue can't stay on the ground. We must keep it up away from the humidity. It wasn't me. Find anyone in the museum to help lift it. I'll go outside to find reinforcements. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Who's all this racket? A statue has collapsed in the entrance hall. We must quickly move it. Otherwise, the invoice will be sent to your unit. Come, give us a hand. But we aren't allowed to leave our post. In Afghanistan, I was shot, and I'm no longer able to exert myself with that arm. I will be of no use lifting. But I could keep an eye while you help your colleagues. In that case... Well... Watson says that he's going to keep an eye, but obviously not. Um, Watson? Is this really worth it? Well done, Doctor. You are obviously a man of his word, and resourceful also. Hurry up, and above all, stay hidden. The last thing I want is for you to be caught. <laughs> no one has succeeded in doing that yet. Until later, Doctor. Mind, if I enter the museum, I run the risk of being seen. And I am supposed to be guarding the door. Oh, yes. Somehow I forgot that we were meant to be securing this place. Ah, there you are, gentlemen. You can reclaim your post. Nothing happened. Smooth sailing. Well, Watson, it would appear that you served as reinforcement to Lestrade's men. It's a pleasure to see that two sleepless nights haven't taken away your legendary spirit of enterprise. Well, gentlemen, we'll wait and wait some more. I've tripled the manpower surrounding the building. My men have a carbide searchlight. No way of getting past it as long as it's a clear night. I have, moreover, locked all of the exits leading onto the hall where the Rosetta Stone is found and placed a man by each of the doors. Four of my best men are locked inside and stationed directly in front of the stone. Knowing that it weighs almost 1,500 pounds, Lupin doesn't stand a chance. We'll know soon enough. Excuse me, Inspector, but I hope that your men won't forget to replace the iron bars in the room where they were. They shouldn't be left outside, as they don't like the humidity. What are you saying, young man? I never gave the order to take any iron bars. Listen, they were there two hours ago. Who would have taken them if not your men? Leave it to me, Lestrade. 
Young man, you said some iron bars had disappeared. Can you show me where? Follow me. You could tell that when Watson opened the door, Sherlock was not very happy. Here's the spot. Tell me, what can be made with iron bars? Hmm, everything and anything. Do you know if anything else is missing? I don't know. I didn't take the time to look because I must prepare some plans. Return to your work. For the time being, I'll see if anything else is missing and I'll come find you if I need any further information. Uh, Watson, join Lestrade and keep a check on things. As for me, I'll be in my off... Actually, uh, the director's office if you need me. I'm guessing that these are the iron bars. There was a pulley here. Some rolls of rope were there. A box of soap was recently removed. Tarpaulin protected these materials and it was removed. The print from the bag that was found here is quite clear. The bag was recently removed. Forgetting that we end up outside the front doors when we, when we jump back there. Any news, Mr. Holmes? I think I made the round of all the missing objects. Here I noted them on a piece of paper. Can you tell me now what could be made with this? Hold on. I need to think for a moment. It's quite thoughtful of them. What's going on, Barncow? The police are too kind. They took the time to remove the rubble that was in the hall. However, they were given orders to not leave their post. Strange, I must look into that. Oh dear, Watson. Until later. Footprints, look. Hold on. The most recent footprints on the ground correspond exactly with those that I found in the National Gallery, in the soil from the pot, those of Lupin. In some ways, at least he's consistent, but in others, he could probably do with buying another pair of shoes. These footprints are size 9. Oh, I think I found it, Mr. Holmes. Upon closer inspection, the soap doesn't seem to have anything to do with this. I think they mean to install a pulley on a tripod in order to reel up a load situated much lower, like in a mine, for example. What is the maximum weight of the load that we can raise? Given the strength of the bars, it would all depend on the counterweight used. If, for example, we used one of the pedestals of the lions in front of the stairs, we could lift more than 2,000 pounds. Holmes! Holmes! Come here! Quick! It's Watson. We must get to him quickly. I wonder what's going to happen next. Blasted door. I can never seem to open it. Oh, there Quick! it is. Quick! Quick! Blazes. Damnation. Outside, quickly. We can attempt to intercept him before he absconds. Look, he's there. 